Hey guys, it's Chelsea. Welcome to another Chelsea Knows Crypto video. I hope you've all been happily cryptoing. I definitely have been. This is video number two of my Unpacking ICP series. I'll put a link to my previous videos on ICP in the description and at the end of this video. And speaking of the end, if you're a reader, I'm going to share one of my favorite self-help type books that came to mind as I was writing this content, which today is about superheroes and ICP. Let me explain. Internet Computer Protocol's website is like a Mary Poppins carpet bag. And for clarity, Mary Poppins is absolutely a superhero. In fact, she's one of my favorites. Who do you love most? But remember how she reaches in and pulls out that coat rack and the bag seems to be bottomless and there's almost no telling what's in there except that it's a lot. ICP's website is the definition of comprehensive and the site needs to be to be extremely detailed. In order to make the beautiful vision of ICP come to life, there are a lot of coding and engineering masterpieces built behind the scenes to make it all possible. ICP has done a fantastic job explaining all the details on the site, but these intricate details can seem daunting. So I'm going to explain them in ways and analogies that make sense to me and help me connect the dots of the moving parts of ICP. And I love magic and ideas that are powerful and limitless, and I love superheroes. So let me break down more of ICP with some nods to some pretty cool people who happen to be superheroes, because who doesn't need a little Marvel, DC, and even some Disney in their life? In the how it works section of internetcomputer.org, there's a subsection called architecture of internet computer. It's this architecture that I want to dive deep into today because I think it gives the needed understanding to appreciate the capabilities and brilliance behind what ICP offers. Really, it highlights to me why this is an investment opportunity worth serious consideration. Right off the ICP website, it says, the internet computer takes a revolutionary approach to a highly scalable blockchain-based platform for securely hosting and executing smart contracts. The technology behind the internet computer has reconceived blockchain protocols from the ground up, considering many lessons learned from earlier projects like lack of scalability. The internet computer intends to become a world computer, an open and secure public blockchain network that can scale infinitely and be used by everyone to host their smart contracts securely. This isn't a pipe dream. ICP has the technology. Are we all hearing this? We are, right? A replacement to the internet as we know it is here and it solves all of the problems we have with the current World Wide Web internet system. I mean, public, secure, infinitely scalable, worldwide computer. All internet problem solved, check. It reminds me when Genie in the movie Aladdin explains his living situation, phenomenal cosmic powers. And then at the end of the movie, Jafar, the bad guy gets turned into a genie. Oh shoot, I hope I didn't just spoil the end of this 30 year old classic movie for you. Actually, Jafar has nothing to do with this, but the phenomenal cosmic powers, that's what we're talking about with the architecture of internet computer. Imagine ICP as a digital superhero hub where all of the superheroes in the world work together. Together, they make and keep the the digital world safe, scalable, and decentralized, available to everyone. So the internet computer is like Avengers headquarters, Avengers tower. Now for this example, superheroes are also known as smart contracts, and it's here at the headquarters where the superheroes or smart contracts live. And each superhero has its own room called a canister where it keeps its secrets and powers. The superheroes or canisters are sometimes called canister smart contracts. They bundle their powers, web assembly, code, and data into a single unit, and the unit is the canister. And anyone can create a canister superhero and let it loose on the internet computer. Now, to make the superheroes do their thing, they need energy. And the energy they need to power up is called cycles. You can think of cycles as their power coins and you get them using the ICP token. It's like charging up your superhero with a special coin. What's cool is that these superheroes aren't selfish. They act more like Tony Stark, the one that we know and love in Avengers Endgame, not the more arrogant version in the first Iron Man. The canister superheroes work together sharing their powers. And unlike other less than superhero smart contracts on different blockchains out there currently, these canisters collaborate without any fuss. So just like our favorite superheroes, these digital superheroes can evolve and update, kind of like young Clark Kent leaving Smallville and becoming the Superman saving Metropolis. Now, 
As superhero canisters update and evolve, they still have to follow a set of rules set by their community, and the community is known as the DAO-based governance. And this is what makes the upgrade process both secure and fair. To keep things safe, the canister superheroes use something called internet identity. It's like a secure ID card for all superheroes. They can even recognize you based on your secret key, making everything super secure. The internet computer is designed to grow and handle lots of superheroes. It's divided into different sections called subnets, and the subnets all talk to each other like a big superhero team. They send special messages, referred to as asynchronous messaging, to coordinate with each other without any delays. Now, knowing all this, imagine each superhero canister having its own network. That's the internet computer protocol, a set of rules that all superheroes follow. It keeps everything running smoothly from just talking and communicating to actually executing their plans. And then to keep everything secure, the internet computer uses special cryptography called chain key technology. And these are like secret codes that only superhero canisters understand. It makes the internet computer a one of a kind superhero hub. Now, Just like superheroes need a meeting to decide on missions, the internet computer has governance. It's like a superhero council called the Network Nervous System, NNS, and they vote on ideas to make the internet computer even better. Okay, so these are the basics of the architecture of internet computer, a big digital superhero hub where superheroes collaborate and evolve and make the digital world a better space. My personal opinion, I'm still adding ICP to my bag and happily making it heavier and heavier at the current prices. Just the decentralized foundation that ICP represents is almost reason enough for me to support them. Now, this is not financial advice. I'm just saying that I like what they stand for and what they're offering. What ICP is doing is bold and fearless. Challenging the dominance of big tech takes guts. And like the late Chet Holmes called it, pig-headed discipline and determination. And here you go, fellow readers. If you've not yet read the book, The Ultimate Sales Machine, I highly recommend it. If you have read it, let me know in the comments what you thought of it. Stay alert and pay attention to ICP. Keep it on your watch list and invest time to do your own research. Let me know how you feel about ICP and the way it's working to disrupt the traditional internet. I'm curious what you think the biggest challenges are in our way right now. And of course, please, if you've enjoyed this video and want more exciting crypto comment and the occasional movie reference, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can be updated when I release more in the ICP series and updates about other crypto. Thank you for your support, and until next time, happy cryptoing.